Hello, James here, and we're off to Falkirk here in Scotland, and there's a Charge Place Scotland charging hub, and we're going to go and check it out. It will give you guys an idea of what is in development around Scotland. Uh, there's a few other sites that are getting similar treatment. So, first off, we're just going to check out the site, see what they have, and we'll check out the surrounding area and the things to do there as well while you're waiting. So even though we're going to the Falkirk Charging Hub, we're not actually going to be charging the car there. And the reason for that is I've actually already charged the Ionic 5 to 100% uh, a couple of days ago. And I've been driving in the eco mode with the iPedal activated. So I just want to see what sort of mileage that we're going to get out of it. So we're here at the Falkirk Stadium Charging Hub. We'll see that there's 21, apparently there's 21 AC chargers here. And currently there's a Tesla, a Porsche Taycan and a little Mini. Let's have a quick look at one of these for prices. There we go. Prices are, I don't know if you can see, Tariff 25 pence per kilowatt hour, one pound minimum charge. There's an overstay charge applies after four hours of use. So you get overstay charge of five pounds for staying here for over four hours. And we will head over to the rapid charges here. Okay, same again, 25 pence per kilowatt hour. One pound minimum charge, overstay charges is five pounds, applies after 60 minutes of use. So you basically have 60 minutes to charge your car here. And then we've got these chargers along here as well. So they've got rapid here, some more ACs. And again, just along here, all the way along. And it's all under solar canopies as well. So if you want to visit some sites around here, if you're not here for the football, then you can basically head this direction. And over there is the Helix Park. And it's got like a playground for the kids, if you've got kids with you. And there's also facilities there also. And a little bit further is the Kelpies, which we will be having a look shortly. So I'm going to drive over there in a minute. But if you're actually going to travel all the way over there, I probably wouldn't use the rapid charges because once you're there, there's quite a few things to do. There's a visitor center and places to eat as well. So they've got some food sort of like um, uh, vans that have some strange Scottish cuisines, including, what was it now I had last time? It was a haggis hot dog, or a hot dog with haggis in it. Uh, it was interesting, it wasn't bad actually. Uh, I would suggest you try it. If you were to go all the way over there, if you're charging here to the Kelpies, then I would actually use one of these, just to give yourself a little bit of time to wander over there and wander back. So we're currently at the Kelpie site and this is the cafe that you can get some drinks. I think it's closed at the moment because it's uh, probably about seven o'clock now. And there's also a gift center also. So these are the small scale models of the Kelpies and it represents the larger ones in the background, which we'll get a little bit closer to. There's also a couple of other vans that normally come here. This is the only one that's left, a little coffee shop. And also towards the back, there's more shops and little cafes and places to eat. So the Kelpies was commissioned to a chap, a Glaswegian chap called Andy Scott. And he, I think he took about eight years to create these. They're 30 meter tall structures. So the Kelpies are mythological creatures that swam in the lochs and the 
rivers in Scotland. But these were actually built to represent the heavy horses that used to pull the barges from here to Glasgow and Edinburgh. And they used to carry coal. There's not much coal going around in Scotland these days. The last coal plant was shut down in 2006. So in Scotland, we don't actually burn any coal. As the sun was setting, I packed my gear to head home. Like I said before, I'll be sticking to the eco mode and I'll be driving a steady 62 miles per hour or 100 kilometers an hour on the motorway. And then in the city, I'm going to test the iPedal mode. And I want to test that out because it's very similar to the e-pedal on the Nissan Leaf. So I just want to see what the sort of similarities they have between the two. I'll be testing out the auto regen with the same sort of parameters in a future video. Well, after this one, basically, when I've run this tank dry. According to Hyundai, the WLTP range of this car, the Project 45, is 267 miles or 430 kilometers. And that is the all wheel drive version of the Ionic 5. So far I've covered 107.3 miles with 40 miles roughly of motorway driving and currently we're at 3.8 miles to the kilowatt hour and the guess will meet us saying we've got 145 miles left so combine that together we should get a 252.3 miles which is pretty close to the WLTP range of the car. So for our friends that use the metric system the car's covered 172.7 kilometers and that's 16.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers with an estimated 233 kilometers left on the clock. So on my next update when I run the car down a little bit more we will see what the final outcome is with the range and see if it matches up to what Hyundai um, sort of like estimated doing this sort of like eco run, city, low speed run. I'd like to thank the Helix for allowing me to film on location and to Vicky for organising everything. And if you do travel up to Scotland and you want an awe-inspiring and jaw-dropping site to visit, I suggest you take a wee detour along the M9 and head towards Falkirk to visit the Kelpies and the Helix Park. With Falkirk being the largest charging hub in Scotland, and with more on the way, it's only a good thing really. As a wise man once said, if you build it, they will come. And finally I want to leave this montage of the Ionic 5 photo shoot that I've done at the Kelpies. And if you want to see any more of the images, uh, jump on Twitter or Instagram, and that'll be in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe and smack that notification bell and I'll see you guys next time.